Good morning. I would like to invite Danny Schnars forward and he will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, please be seated. Thank you, Danny. Greetings, Mrs. Turner, ETGMS faculty and staff, guests, friends, families, and honored eighth grade students of the class of 2025. I would like to welcome you to the very first Eli Terry Junior Middle School outdoor promotion ceremony. First, I would like to take a moment to recognize and thank parents and caretakers for your support over the last three years, and in particular, this last year. I can't tell you how thankful I am for your understanding, your flexibility and patience that you have shown throughout the pandemic. I want to acknowledge and give a shout out to our staff who work tirelessly every day to create innovative ways to deliver instruction, both in person and remotely. They truly gave you their very best and I am honored to work alongside each and every one of them. And last but not least, the class of 2025, Today is the day we celebrate you and all that you have accomplished. As you reflect on the three years, you should be proud of pushing through and overcoming all the challenges you were confronted with. Maya Angelou, a famous writer and poet, once said, you may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. In fact, it may be necessary to encounter the defeats so you can know who you are what you can rise from, how you can still come out of it. Life will throw you challenges, but it is in those challenges that you learn who you are. As you embark on this new journey, my hope is that you will live your life to the fullest with no regrets. Take risks and believe there isn't anything you can't achieve. Congratulations. We have several awards that we are going to present, I'm going to present today. They include Academic Excellence, PIN Award, Overall Academic Excellence, Rotary Club Student of the Month, Superintendents and CABE Award, and finally, the Principals Award. The recipients will receive their award later in the program when they are presented their promotion certificates. However, I would like to acknowledge each one of them at this time. So when I announce your names, they will stand and I'm going to ask that you hold your applause until every name has been announced for each of the, the awards. The first one, Academic Excellence, is awarded to those students who earned a 95 average with no term below a 92. Again, when I read your names, please stand. Devin Bradshaw, Christopher Capaldo, Abigail Saratello, Morgan Champagne, Zoe Chapoulis, Olivia Christopher, Isaiah Cruz, Giovanna De Silva, Nathan Devin, Gabriella Druniak, Haley Ganderillas, Megan Hudson, Tyler Lachance, Kelsey Marin, Connor Reardon, Daniel Schnars, Ashlyn Spino, Eric Weisheit, and Colin Zarowski. You may be seated, congratulations. The PIN Award is awarded to students who earned the highest grade point average for each content area. Again, when I call your name, please stand. Algebra one, Eric, Eric Weisheit. Art, Sol Santiago Prado. Civics, Morgan Champagne. General Music, Abigail Saratello 
and Christopher Capaldo. Innovative Technologies, Giovanna Da Silva. Writing, Giovanna Da Silva. Language Arts, Morgan Champagne. Mathematics, Maya Caviello. Science, Morgan Champagne. And Wellness, Christopher Capaldo and Zoe Chapulis. Congratulations. You may be seated. The overall academic excellence award goes to a student who exhibits the highest grade point average in their class. This is our number one. The recipient of this award not only excels in the classroom, but he also is one of the ETJ voices delivering the morning announcements each day. This young man has participated in several community projects and made a great impact on our school community. For the third consecutive year, Danny Schnars is the recipient of the overall academic Excellence Award. Congratulations, Dan. Every year, we're asked by the Plymouth Rotary Club to select one student who consistently demonstrates outstanding character, academic excellence, and leadership. This year, the Rotary Club Student of the Month is awarded to Gabriella Gruniak. Congratulations. Each year throughout the state, local school districts in conjunction with the Connecticut Association of Public Schools Superintendents and Connecticut Association of Boards of Education honor a select group of students for outstanding achievement, some creativity and generous service to greater community. The following students were recognized earlier this year. Danny Schnars, Abigail Saratello, Morgan Champagne, Christopher Capaldo. You may be seated. And finally, the Principal's Award. This award is awarded to an eighth grade student has not, who has not only demonstrated outstanding achievement throughout the last three years, but has also demonstrated leadership and service within the school community. This young lady served on interview committees, assisted staff in facilitating restorative circles, attended leadership training, and participated in creating a video to welcome incoming sixth grade students to ETJ. Zoe Chapoulis does not only shy away from responsibility or engaging in community pro projects that result in creating an environment where students feel connected and safe to learn. Congratulations, Zoe. Congratulations. And now I would like to introduce our first essayist, Gabriella Druniak. I spent a lot of time growing up picturing what my future would look like. Standing here in front of you all today, I can say that this definitely wasn't what I imagined, and I'm sure it isn't for you either. When Corona started, I remember talking with my friends about the two to three week vacation we thought we were getting. Little did we know, that time off ran far longer than we ever expected and taught us more lessons than any year had ever before. When August of 2020 came around, I was more excited than ever to be in school, but walking into those doors on the first day this year felt so different. Changes were all around us. Eighth grade is a year that we look forward to all of our middle school careers. Field trips, new teachers, building friendships, and preparing for a new chapter. At first, I couldn't help but feel robbed. Everyone had masks, we were only allowed to see the people in our cohorts, events were canceled, and our futures uncertain. But still, the year continued. In reading class one day, during a poetry unit, I was struggling to find poems that I truly connected with. Miss Cohen showed me one of her favorite poems called The Dash. You might be familiar with it. It is about the little dash between your birthday and death day on your tombstone. That dash represents your lifetime and how you have spent it. And I want to take some time to share it with you today. The Dash by Linda Ellis. I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on the tombstone from the beginning to the end. 
He noted that first came the date of birth and spoke of the following date with tears, but he said that what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. For that dash represents all the time they spent alive on earth, and now only those who love them know what that little line is worth. For it matters not how much we own, the cars, the house, the cash. What matters is how we live and love and how we spend our dash. So think about this long and hard. Are there things you'd like to change? For you never know how much time is left that can still be rearranged. To be less quick to anger and show appreciation more and love the people in our lives like we've never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering that this special dash might only last a little while. So when your eulogy is being read with your life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you lived your dash? After reading this for the first time, I started to see my life and my year differently. We are all surrounded by so many hardships that sometimes we forget to enjoy the good parts of life too and enjoy our dash. I came to realize that no matter how difficult it was, this year has been an important part of my dash and for that I am grateful. As I think about this part of my dash, I can't help but think it was a blessing in disguise. The hardships seem to turn into life lessons that I never expected to learn, but that I will carry with me forever. Having separated classes without many of my friends seemed hard at first, but it allowed me to grow closer with people in my cohort that I never would have otherwise. I made friends with people who I barely talked to in sixth and seventh grade. We all have grown into young adults and taken more responsibility for ourselves. Getting to know my teachers, both remotely and in person, created a stronger bond in our classroom. I learned to appreciate the small things that the school administrators and teachers did for us, no matter how tough times were. I will never forget the time Mr. Mo took to write out personalized notes for each of his students to motivate us before testing. I hope you know that we notice and appreciate the little things that you all do for us. The ETJMS staff has made a great impact on our lives. Because of them, we have learned how to move on to our future and how we can prepare ourselves to move on past middle school. We learned more about ourselves and we learned about what we like to do. They introduced us to new careers for our possible futures. We learned about how we can move on to live a successful and prosperous dash and how we can make an impact with our futures. Middle school at some points felt like a long three years, but now that it's over, I can't help but feel like time flew by. As we all move forward into the next chapter of our lives, I hope the grades behind us follow in our footsteps and make sure to live their dash in a way that honors the morals we learn here at ETJMS. To my fellow eighth grade class, growing up with you these past few years has been a true adventure, and I look forward to seeing what you all accomplish in the future. I hope you have learned from this year the same lessons I have, to enjoy every moment. Don't get caught up in the little obstacles, no matter how important they seem at the time. Remember who you are and what you stand for, and do what makes you happy. Don't forget, no one is going to remember you for the things you own. They're going to the remember you for the kind of person you were. I hope that all you continue to live your happiest dash, whatever that might mean for you. And I look forward to seeing what each of your futures hold. Thank you. I'd like to invite Megan Hudson to deliver her essay. Middle school was a journey I could have never predicted. It had a lot of bumpy roads and a lot of twists and turns, but it also had some smooth paths, created great memories, and led me to an exciting new adventure ahead. I thought about mid what middle school would be like often growing up, knowing it would be a new change from elementary school. I knew we would rotate classes and have multiple teachers, and I worried about having enough time to get from one class to another without being late. I thought I knew what to expect, but I could have never predicted just how much of a change it would really be. My middle school journey started like almost everyone else here, taking the first steps into the front doors of Eli Terry almost three years ago. Through those years, I've learned a lot about myself and a lot about life in general. Each year has taught me something new. In sixth grade, I learned that it's okay to rely on people for support sometimes and that asking for help is nothing to be ashamed of.
Just as I started getting used to sixth grade and moved through the year, I thought that seventh and eighth would be the same, but I was wrong. Seventh grade started the same, but it was towards the end of the year that life as I knew it started to change. We all learned about COVID-19. I never knew what a pandemic was, and I'm sure most kids here haven't either. When I first heard that word, I was like, whoa, what does that mean? I was afraid of all the possibilities that could happen. I started to realize how serious it was when we started doing online school. During those few months, I experienced a new way of learning. I learned in seventh grade that even when life sends obstacles in your path, those challenges make you a stronger individual. Eighth grade was a very different experience from my first two years, and definitely the year that I learned and grew the most. This year, unlike the other years, students stayed in the same class with the same small group of people all day, every day, and the pandemic continued. We weren't able to see our friends in other grades or cohorts. At first, this was tough as I felt separated from my friends, but I learned to appreciate the bonds that I've made within my cohort and the friendships that have flourished as a result. I'm not going to lie, it was a difficult year, but I truly believe that we all got through it and came out stronger in spite of it. We all found a way to make this past year the best it could have been, and I learned some truly valuable lessons along the way. I learned that if I want to succeed at something, I need to work really hard for it because it doesn't happen easily whether that be getting good grades in class or building skills on the soccer field. I learned that working in a group can help me form new ideas and friendships, and I learned to value each member of a team. The last 10 months have been nothing but craziness and difficulty, discovering new learning platforms, both in person and online. But from all my years here, the lessons I learned will stay with me long after I walk out of the Eli Terry doors on the last day of eighth grade. It was a big change to stay in one room all day with masks on, but I can't deny that it created stronger connections with the people I didn't know very well, both students and teachers. And made memories I will cherish forever. I don't think I could ever look at a pinata and not think about Mr. Zano and all my classmates. And I will also never be able to tell a story without thinking about Ms. Cohen, who always encouraged me to tell a story for the class. I was never able to think of one on the spot but she made me realize that telling stories helps make connections with others. All around, this year has taught me to value the connection I've made in my Brown University cohort. Now that these bonds are tighter, it's going to be difficult letting them go when we start to separate and we go on to different schools next year. It's going to be tough going into high school when the kids I knew for years and who have been there for me through it all might no longer be the people I talk to every day. It's going to be a challenging transition, but I believe Eli Terry has prepared me for that change. As I move on to high school, I just want to thank all my teachers and coaches that I've had here at Eli Terry for teaching me valuable skills that will serve me in the future, such as time management, technology usage, study tips, and public speaking. I have also learned a lot about responsibility, teamwork, integrity, and about being my best self. Whether I'm on the field or in the classroom, I have learned to always give 100% effort, and I'm sure this will help me as I move on to my new adventure at Terrible High School. From the bottom of my heart, thank you to all the faculty and staff here at Eli Terry for the best three years. I will forever cherish my days as a Bulldog. Now that it is the last days of school, I wish I could go back in time and make sure I was living those years to the best I could. I wish I never said that I didn't want to go to school or I asked if the day was almost over because looking back, I wish these days would never end. Everything that has happened the last year has really made me appreciate my time here at Eli Terry. To my peers, we have made it through this year and we should truly be proud of ourselves. As we move on to our next chapters, I wish you all the best of luck in the next adventure, wherever that may be. Remember to always make school a priority and study hard, but don't forget to enjoy the next four years with your friends. They will fly by fast. Even though our paths might lead us in two different directions, what we have learned here at Eli Terry will help us reach the end of whatever path we choose for ourselves. We are Bulldogs for life and that will always connect us. Thank you. I'd like to invite Dr. Dowdy Jenkins to the podium to assist in the presentation of the promotion certificates.
Adam Alexander. Aliyah Allen. Anaya Alvarado. Dylan Anderson. Colin Argraves. Victoria Avery. Dakota Bachman. Hayden Barrett. Jaden Basile. Adam Bell. Austin Berry. Adriana Bulldock. Devin Bradshaw. Elizabeth Kane. Christopher Capaldo. Nicholas Karen. Abigail Saratello. Alexis Chamberlain. Morgan Champagne. Zoe Chapoulis. Olivia Christopher. Joshua Conklin. Maya Coviello. Isaiah Cruz. Giovanna Da Silva. Shannon Davis. Isabella Densky. Andi Demaku. Nathan Devon. Aislinn Dion. Kyle Dion. Ryan Dumachowski. Kylie Duro. Gabriella Druniak. Araya Dupree. Preston Eddy. Jacob Fleming. Cassandra Fortunato. Isabella Franick. Haley Ganderillis. Sydney Grabowski. Haley Gronowski. Isabella Harrington. Riley Harold. Brandon Hovenak. Megan Hudson. Nicholas Huria. Peyton Immel. Alasia Johnson. Bailey King. Connor Reardon. Tyler Klesch. Logan Claritas. Olivia Kowalski. Tyler Lachance. Jaden Laskowski. Ryan Lewandowski. Angela Mela. Kelsey Marin. Nadine Molina. 
Melanie Moran Vasquez, Jared Morin, Alicia Moulton, Ariana Mur Murray, Hunter Honorado, Hannah Pelosi, Xavier Perez, Katie Pasillo, Damian Piercy, Colby Pronovost, Jamie Ray, Jason Reben, Casey Richardson, Aiden Rivera, Antonio Rodriguez, Dayton Sanchez, Sol Santiago Prado, <coughs> Daniel Schnars, Emily Salander, Tyler Spear, Ashlyn Spino, Autumn Stakey, Devin Stein, Emily Tardif, Annabella Tedesco, Raymond Thompson, Logan Violet, Sadie Warner, Talise Watlington, Eric Weisheit, Amaya Wisnett, Robert Wyman, Colin Zorowski, Keegan Zukowski, Jonas Burke. And I'm very proud to present to everybody the class of 2025. Well done. And that concludes our promotion ceremony for, the, for today. Um, the students are going to be heading back in to grab their things, and they are welcome to head out. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of them Monday. <laughs> I know, I heard that. Yeah, I know. There we go. Thanks for coming, everybody.